welcome to Modelling Misadventures. Now in this episode we're going to do some work on the bottom of Thunderbird 3 and this midsection here which is where the solar panels go and then this ring here. So some uh, more uh, construction and painting to be done so let's get on with that. Now one of the problems with making a model of Thunderbird 3 is what to do with this bottom area. Because if you look at these toy Thunderbird 3s and you look on the bottom, they have a round hole or hatch in the middle. But on the real Thunderbird 3, some of the models that you see have a round hole at the bottom, as you can see in this picture. And others have a rectangular hatch which was to allow the couch that Alan Tracy sat on to go up into the rocket. And you can see that very clearly in this picture. So gotta make, it, gotta make a decision as to whether to go for the round hole or the rectangular hatch. And in this model, I'm gonna go for the rectangular hatch because that is how Alan Tracy actually boarded Thunderbird 3. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut some plastic strips for the ribbing. Now I need 18 of these and they all, all have to be cut to that length. So I've got the 18 ribs cut out. Now I just got very lucky here because the diameter of this base is exactly the same diameter as my protractor. So that allowed me to use it to just mark the angles on for these ribs. So that's the bottom done with the ribs and the hatch. That's going to now need to be painted grey. Now I'm just going to paint the bottom of this rocket with a brush with some dark grey paint. Be easier than masking the whole thing off and spraying it. Well the bottom of the rocket's coming on. Um, that looks quite nice. Now the next phase in this is to make these things which are solar panels. Now this was a a prototype one that I've made um, and it seems to be about right so I need to print off 18 of those. Lovely jubbly. These are the solar panels coming off the printer. Now there are 18 of these solar panels or cooling fins, whatever they actually are, um, and they need to be painted in three different colours, blue, grey and yellow. So it's going to take a bit of masking to get that right. Well, that's all the fins masked and all that is just for a blue line. So if anybody actually enjoys masking when they're modeling, leave a comment below because uh, it's not my favorite job. That's a lot of blue for a little bit of blue. Well, I prefer taking this off than putting it on. There we are. And that's come out pretty nice. I've got one little area of bleeding here that's going to have to be touched up. But other than that, my blue line looks pretty good. Now I've got to tackle these. Beautiful. These are the 18 solar panels and the next stage is to paint these gray. I'm going to paint the side of these with a brush again. It's painting day today. So I'm waiting for my solar panels to dry. And while I'm waiting for that, I've done the black and red stripes on the bottom. Now the last part of these fins is to paint this yellow stripe onto the bottom edge. 
Again, I'm doing this with a brush and I'm just using Tamiya yellow paint. Well, after a lot of painting and masking, these fins are done. Uh, I think they've come out pretty nice. You can see they've got three different colors on them and they're now ready to be glued on. And this little red ring is gonna go on the rocket just above them. So now we can start putting it together. Now to get these fins on, I've marked this out at 20 degree intervals, and that will allow for 18 of them to be evenly spaced around the midsection. Now to make sure I get this level when I'm gluing it on, I'm gonna use this little tiny spirit level. And that should get it perfectly vertical. Well, that's the first one on. Well, that was quite a big section, but I've now got all these fins on and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. I think it's looking absolutely great, the bottom of this rocket. They did take a lot of work, these fins. So uh, I'm really glad to have got uh, through that particular phase. So that's where I'm going to stop um, in this particular episode. I think it's a good place to finish. Uh, in the next episode, we'll continue with the top half of the rocket um, and see how that goes. But for now, I'll say goodbye and see you next time on Modelling Misadventures. Music